The essence of the new biology is the integration of various disciplines into life science. Physical sciences, mathematical sciences, chemical sciences, and, and computational sciences. The, the new biology for the 21st century was a, a report that was issued to look at where biology and life science is now in terms of how to make new investments to fulfill both uh, advances in life science as well as to address uh, societal needs. The New Biology Report grew out of a series of discussions with a lot of agencies around Washington who fund basic biology research and what we kept hearing was that they all knew that they had tremendous new capabilities. They were collecting massive amounts of data but that there were technological hurdles and scientific hurdles that needed to be met in order to get the most value out of that uh, biology research. Uh, this was a very challenging committee to put together because we did want to cover the entire field of biology which is enormous. It spans uh, agriculture and bioenergy and of course all of the biomedical sciences and we wanted to have uh, physical scientists, engineers, mathematicians, computational scientists because more and more biology needs people with that kind of expertise. Uh, we held a summer in the, in the fall in which we invited leaders from the academic world, from the industrial world, private sector, from uh, the uh, agency, federal agencies to address where they saw uh, opportunities for innovation and where, the, where they saw uh, impediments to innovation. Uh, and then the committee took all of that and previous reports from the academy and a lot of discussion. We came to the conclusion that innovation in life science was going to be the major driver of meeting four major societal challenges. Challenges of, of climate, challenges of food, challenges of energy, and challenges of health. This challenge of feeding a growing population, of individualizing uh, health care and the treatment, prevention and treatment of disease, the challenge with maintaining ecosystem services in a healthy environment, and the challenge of providing energy for energy needs, particularly for transportation fuels. Then the committee came to the conclusion that these four challenges represent over half of the total GDP of the country. The fact that the report lays out some fundamental investments in the underlying biological sciences that can contribute to all of these challenges uh, was, I think, sort of a revelation to such a diverse uh, committee of, of scientists as was involved in its preparation. Using biological approaches, and new and innovative ones, bold ones, uh, might be the only ways to be able to take on these challenges. These problems are large and urgent. Uh, they really need to be addressed now and need to be addressed in a coordinated and focused way. And these problems are pressing. We have to deal with global climate today. We've got to find a sustainable energy source today. We've got to find ways of delivering health care better today. The problems are really integrated and really require that they be approached uh, in tandem. One of the things that the report emphasizes very strongly is this need for integration. In a way, that is the new biology. What we've seen um, is that uh, without coordination amongst the sponsoring agencies, we're not reaping all the benefits that we think could, in fact, be achieved. Our goal is to ensure that we get that kind of uh, coordination and collaboration, not only amongst scientists, but amongst the institutions that support them. And, and inviting into the field to really take ownership of biology, physicists and chemists and mathematicians and engineers, and computational scientists that um, can use their knowledge and concepts to a attack these problems. So one discipline won't solve it. It'll really require an integration of the sciences. Now to prepare the next generation for new biology, and to prepare the next generation to be able to participate in life science, we need to greatly strengthen the quantitative and computational skills of students who are coming into life science. Uh, identification of those problems at that scale 
uh, has, has uh, tremendous opportunities for capturing the imagination of scientists to develop the new innovations necessary to really take on these problems at this magnitude, and capturing the, the imagination of non-scientists who really are, are concerned and pondering how we're going to get there. You know, we now are beginning, beginning to see the dimensions of these problems. They seem insurmountable. How, how can we take it on? And I think that uh, this, this report has the potential to really provide uh, a vision for attacking these problems.